if you've ever heard people have um, people give their account of a, a near death experience where they they're they're dead, whether like they're like actually physically like dead or not, like the, these experiences are all so so similar. So like they're, they're the same thing. The people are coming back and they're describing like have what's called life review. You know this yeah. thing like your life flashes before your eyes. Right. Like I trip out on on near death experience videos on YouTube. Like it the, when when people are describing the life review, like there's no uh time component to it. Like the amount of detail that these people are describing is like unbelievable and in going through the life review you not only relive all of the worst shit that you did to others but you relive it as that as the others have you heard about that no but that would make sense like you like you this whole the, this whole illusion of separation is gone and then you go through your whole life and you actually experience from the perspective of the person who you harmed, you have their experience from when you harmed them and without the component of time. So it's like like an eternity and like and the detail is like insane. Like it scares the crap out of me <laughs> for how much like I'm gonna have to, you know, to reap what you sow. Yeah, dude, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, and when you think about this life review, and, and if anybody's listening, watching this, like you know, I'm here to promote a, a crazy multimedia comedy special, but it's not more important than yeah. checking out Life Review because, like, when you think about the person who screwed you over, like, man, screwed, you know, they, they tell you that the, the way to heal is to forgive the person, to pray for the person, and not only to pray for the person, but to pray for that person to get everything in their life that you want for yourself, which is a tall-ass order. <laughs> well it's yeah. a tall ass order. Yeah. But if you think about the life review process, it makes, it makes it a lot all just easier. reflections like of ourselves, it's like the way we treat people, yeah. the, like even the people that we bring into our lives is because like th that was like, that's us in a way in different versions. Yeah. Like what we allow to happen to ourselves is so much shit, man. Damn it. So, so you even, you even avoid the ones that are like, can, could be beneficial. All drugs. I mean, people describe ayahuasca and the experience of it as like, going through hell and like you know in 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 like this like in the trip like you're you're in like this gnarly hell and you resolve all of these issues and you come out of the trip like having resolved like the your your things and it's like all right, you know, like I really don't need. I've been through plenty of hell. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I've been, I've been through plenty of hell. And um, what do they say too about religion? Um, uh, they say religion is for people who are afraid of going to hell. Spirituality is for people who have been to hell. <laughs> like, Interesting. Yeah, and they're over it. Because <laughs> I had a, I had a, I've done it a few times now, and like my experience with it was like. I guess the best way I could summarize it, I had this moment where like life and death felt not the same, but it everything felt kind of like okay. Like it was it it didn't feel like they were separate. Okay. And the best way I could describe that for, maybe for me because I was I had struggled so much and like even to this day I'm still very pretty fearful of death, but way way less than I ever was growing up. Right. Um it just created a sense of calmness for me in relationship to that. And I think overall, I think not having that, like that idea in the back of your shoulder, your mind, your head thinking like, oh, you know, obviously someday I'm going to die. We all are. And I just lost that fear. And I think it, I'm not saying someone needs to go do this to experience this because obviously the work, even outside of like taking this medicine or this, this like, is needs to be done in, in our real life. But I did get this sense of like, it's, it's okay. Even though forever, you know, I'd have these conversations and you talk to people and they'd be like, yeah, it's going to be okay. And, you know, it's, it's an inevitable and you're, it's going to be, it's fine. But I, I really had this moment where like, I really felt it, not just heard it, not just right. thought it, not was just told it. I had this weird feeling of like, no, this is like, it's, it's all, it's all good. hundred percent. So I'm not, obviously like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to convince you to do this. 
because you're oh, yeah, past I, it. I, I, but... I, like, uh, it, it's fine. It, 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 I'm, I'm not even, uh, I'm not offended. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not concerned. Um, it, it's another benefit of, of watching these near death experiences too, because, uh, like it, it, so the, the accounts are so similar. Like you can't have all these different people describing like the, you know, such similar stuff and not lend credibility to what they're saying. Yeah. And like the, the common thread is that, that, that this physical like reality that we're in now is the tough part. Like yeah. that, like the, the unit, like the consensus among everybody is that they're that they feel that they've gone home, that they're embraced by pure love in in something that's more beautiful and spectacular than anything we could ever experience on Earth as humans, and that when like when they're in there, um, you know, like on the other side, like it's they they they're, they're told that they have to come back and that's why they're back. They're they're told that now you have to go back into your body and like across the board, everybody's like, yo that i don't want to go back, you know i don't want to go back into that you know and uh and they're like they're, they're like made to go back in some very rare instances like they they uh they they feel they know that that uh, a child or a loved one or someone like really needs them to come back and yeah. they'll do it willingly but like you know universally they're they all think it is way just fact way better on the other side. And you're talking about all these different accounts like that you've like people have, you know, spoken about and like filming YouTube videos and like everyone saying the same. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, there, there's like, um, what are they like, uh, the near death society or something. There's a whole, like, there's literally a society of people check it who, out. who I never... meet. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty epic too. I, I, I'll, I'll text you a particularly good one. Yeah. yeah send like, me I'll, one. I'll send you a particularly good one. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so comforting. You know, they talk about being like reunited with, uh, you know, everybody that you loved and lost, you yeah. know, like they, um, like when people come back from these near death experiences, they, uh, you know, they don't fear death at all. They're like, they're all of their, uh, materialism. They just don't give a crap about it anymore. They literally just want to, to just be loving and love others and and yeah. like you know they're just so much like happier and um i just i could it, I, I benefit so much from from consuming that content and uh it really puts you know it, it quells a lot of anxiety about like dying about living about like yeah.